Mr. Jerome Wright here again. <clears throat> and once again, you're joining me on my Jerome Wright YouTube channel here on YouTube. Okay. Um, as we all are aware now by my 200 plus videos here, I think it's nearing 227, 228 some odd videos here on um, YouTube, that um, I am able to decode Renaissance artwork. And in doing so, what I'm actually um, showing us here is how these artists take and encrypt their artwork with underlining messages which referencing how mankind genetically became um, a holy grail if you will of, um, of genetics and it's like a blueprint describing exactly how mankind was created and, and in a cauldron like way um, resulting other genes were created through a recyclination of the initiating process which mankind evolved from his ape and African origins and there are other creatures before that which I'm not going to go into detail now but it's showing how through the story of Christianity that these um that these um um, um, um records are being kept um, being kept and being described to those who know how to read into what's going on with these messages um, and this image this this image is done by this painting is done by in 1533 to 34, 1533 to 1534, they're describing a genetic sequence of contamination and genetic bridging that mankind does not even know today. Scientists and in the medicine field and the scientific field, the mainstream do not know. But you have those in ancient rooted religion and ancient rooted royalty that know it and can acknowledge through artwork exactly what has had to happen to us and what is going on today. Um, this painting is by Romanio, Romanio, that's R-O-M-A-N-I-O, um, Dicesia, um, D-I-S-E-A-S-A, -S Pisnog, I guess a Pison, uh, and these names people are, these names are screwing me over here, trust me, but I'll spell them out to you, P-I-S-O-G-N-E, and the name of this painting, The Descent of Christ to Limbo, of Christ helping Adam to rise. I mean, what in the world is going on? I mean, the first thing I say when I read the titles is Christ helping Adam to rise. I mean, I see Adam with his leg up in the air, with his with his with his with his um, um, crotch all out in the open. There, first thing that comes to mind to me is penis. You know what I mean? What is he helping Adam to rise with? You know what I mean? And then the way he's gripping Adam's arm up. I mean, if I'm helping a man, helping it, helping him from somewhere. I mean, first thing I do is is grab his hand in a hand in hand, and this is we we clutch each other and we lock in. It's not one man grabbing another's hand like he's grabbing a dick or something. I mean, I, I mean that's just keeping it 100 people. I mean, this is crazy. But anyway, um, I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna show you something here with this. First of all, where do we start at? I have a bunch of encryptions draw, um, um, highlighted here for you. All right, let's go with Christ first, okay? First of all, up over top of his head, if you notice with these artists, a lot of these Renaissance artworks, first of all, you see a lot of blotches, blotch areas where somebody looked like they went back and erased something off the art or, you know what I mean, they, it, it was too obvious and they, they love the artwork, but what they do is they blotch it out. But what I see laying over across Christ's head here is I see a dick right here laid across his head and this is this is exactly what I drew out there you know what I mean laid across it whose dick I mean it's showing you in Christ's face if you notice that this that this is where this is a telltale sign go here at Christ's arm this man has a caveman a Neanderthal arm here and then the way the artist actually Romanio captures Christ with all of his hair creates him looking like he's a caveman. Look at this, people. But just not just that. In Christ's beard, there are encryptions telling you of which cave, of which bloodline this man is carrying. It shows a dinosaur on this end, okay, in Christ's beard going down. It's an, and, this is, and this is abnormal seeing his beard go down in this direction. And then on this end, you'll see an ape along with other faces of mankind encrypted in, showing you what genes Christ are carrying to the table and this cross-referencing with these guys that are supposedly captured here in limbo in this cave. Okay, now I'm going to show you something else what's going on here. Okay, um, here, this here on this wall, 
representing that of semen. If you notice, there is an ape head here. There's the, um, um, the I'm, I'm looking at this from backwards, two people. Sometimes I say the left eye and the right eye, and this is actually not the way it's being shown to you. But I just found out that, I mean, this is a different computer that I'm using other than my own. I blew that one up, making all of these images. I guess all of these paranormal um, energies I'm, I'm, I'm going in and, cap and, and, and claiming my computers here. Okay, as I'm opening up multi dimensions and discussing this stuff, what's happening is these energies are coming to me. And in reality, what's happening is they could be jumping in my computer. But anyway, that's all another story. But here, there's an ape's head captured right here. There's the, there's the forehead. There's the left eye. There's the right eye. There's the left nostril. There's the right nostril. The ape's mouth is open, even showing a couple teeth there. And you come down through this line here, it creates the bottom chin area of that ape. Okay, showing you what exactly what's going on, a representation of semen. Then there's a other couple creatures here showing you how this how this merges the representation representation of semen people. What's being exchanged here? Bodily fluids. This was all about the penile gland, semen, and then in blood are these exchanges, these genetics, okay, that carries these these contaminants which were created in a cauldron called like white. But the telltale sign is this arm. Look at Christ's arm. Why in the world is this man having a Neanderthal-like arm? A, 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 a caveman arm. And even, it, it, look, it's even shown here. All in this, 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 this part of his body right here. And then it's showing you the creatures which he's carrying, which, he's, which, he's, which him and, and Adam is exchanging. How they're exchanging it is telling you through each other's dick. Okay? They're exchanging semen with one another. That's what this is. This is a representation of. All right. Now, what is Adams doing over here in the cave with all of these different guys and his leg cocked up and he's damn near butt naked? Well, it's telling you that there was homosexual acts and where genes were exchanged. Which genes were exchanged? Well, if you look at it, there's a larger body of a hippo like creature, an ancient dinosaur type creature. And I'm sure scientists can figure out what this creature is, okay, and which genes are being represented. But these this this opening of this cave, this shadow cast, creates the head of this creature, showing you that these genes that Christ is bringing to the table is meeting these these genes that is coming out of the cave with Adam and his other um, um follows here in the back, his colleagues in the back here, where these bridgings were actually calls for creation. And even here, where Adam is seemingly coming out of the rear or the vagina or busting out of the side of this or this this ancient um, creature here, what is shown here is right here, there's a head of another hog-like creature that's captured, showing you what is being exchanged here, these genetics, okay? And what's going on is one genetic, with one, one uh, uh, like a collision of genes. Okay, and these genes are being created and going out, being the process is being furthered. Okay, now what stands out the most? It's hard for you to see these genes. I mean, see these creatures. Now I know that I'm showing it to you. Here is the head area right here. Okay, of this creature. There's the head. I'm telling you, that's the eye. That's the nostril. That's the nose. Okay, and it's and it's discombobulated to throw you off. That if they were to draw the creature right out, it'd be okay. You'd be it'd be a bell ringing. Ding 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 ding. Look, I see a hippo-like creature. This is a prehistoric creature. What is this doing in the image? So they discombobulated to make it look distorted. But those that know what's going on know this creature. But if you go along the back here of this creature, you see the telltale lines of what we would expect for our ancient hippo, our ancient rhino creatures to actually have. And then they have almost like a pig looking creature here. You know what I mean? And it doesn't take much if you notice, I just put in very little lines. It's not like I'm drawing this out and putting something that's not there, people. All I'm doing is just hitting the lines of what is actually there. Giving these things their ears, you know what I mean? Their eyes. Look, it's not much people to, to, to see what is actually happening here. And even with the ape creature, look at this, very little lines coming down, uh, uh, tracing over the left jaw of the ape creature. And then its open mouth. And then the teeth in its mouth. Then its nostrils. Then its eyes. And then its forehead. People, I'm not doing much here. All I'm doing is just highlighting what is already there. But again, ask yourself, what in the hell is this doing in a 15 33 to 34 painting by an artist when mainstream scientists and and and, and, and are, are in the medicine field and in scientific field do not know this stuff today 
And yet you tell these people are showing you how they are the ones that calls for the genes and the, and the genetic strains that are in our body today. Artists are referencing this. But no, it goes deeper than that. Who were governing over this created art back then? Ancient rooted religion. Almost every single piece of art had to come across those of the popes and the kingships and queenships. A lot of these artworks are in their collections today. Saturated in our royal in our, in our in the world of royalty. These artworks are saturated there. In fresnos and in, in, in um and um and copulas in, 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 in all of these ancient churches, these images are there. I want to point something out to you that stands out to most about this image. That, now, of course, you see Christ with the Neanderthal arm. That stands out, of course. I mean, seeing the ape head is one thing. Okay, and then seeing a dinosaur head here, and then an ape-looking creature, and another demonic-looking creature with a horn coming off the back there. There's an ape there, and, um, and, and, and a, a good portion of the face, but it's also an image of man. But it's also a horn there. But not just that, people. I'm going to show you. Before I end this video, this video is going to be short. I'm going to take this down and I'm going to have to turn this to where we go to Adam. Um, if you notice, I'm turning this this way here. All right. Am I turning? I got to bring it out. Let me see, make sure that I'm doing this right. Okay. Yes, I am. Am I going to have to bring this all the way down? Because I'm going to show you something about Adam. Things that you can see. Now, I didn't make no highlight here because I want you to find this on yourself when you Google this image. That's the good thing about my discoveries, people. All you have to do is Google the image. Um, okay. I want to show you something. And it's in resolution to people. You got to, you have to look at the resolution. Okay, I brought it in for you. Now, here. Um, now see, this is what's screwed up about this. This this goes backwards. All right, damn it. Here in Adams, right here. Now I'm looking at this backwards. Let me go to the other side. You will see right there a horse. You will even see the mouth. I'm gonna come to the other side and give it to you. Let me see where we're at with this because I might have it. Looking at this backwards, where you at, Adam? Right here. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can. I'm gonna have to probably bring it. I'm gonna see if I can bring it in closer for you without it being brought in. There's the head of a horse there, the mouth and all. Okay, and I'm not gonna highlight it because it doesn't need to be highlighted. All right, I'm gonna bring this back right there. Okay, you can see it right here. There's the eye of the horse. And there's the nostril of the horse. And the horse's mouth is in here. Okay. And it makes it look discombobulated. You know why? Because on the other end of the horse, you know what it's creating? You know what it's creating? It's creating the, 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 the image of not just the horse's head, but the horse's dick at the same damn time. Two messages being suggested. Through the semen of the horse, there was a genetic change with this Adam character. That's what this is suggesting. So not only do you have the horse's head and the horse's mouth there, but if you back off of it, it creates the image of a dick, a horse's dick. And you know what it's at? Adam's stroke. You know what it's telling you? That Adam swallowed the, 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 the semen, the sperm of a horse. He's been genetically cross-referenced with the horse to genetically alter himself. From what? What? Well, it's showing you. To genetically alter himself further away from this creature. The ape. That's what they're, they're describing there. And that's why also people, when you Google this image, go there and you will see it. Now the other characters in the background here, I'm going to keep that ape picture up because I'm going to show you something about that ape. All right, um, let me go back. These guys back here. 
in that same position. Is it upside down? I believe I have to put it upside down to show you that image. Where these guys create, telling me that they were bridged over with the line, with the genetics of the line. Let me see if it's upside down. Let me see if it's upside down. It creates the, it creates the, the mouth and the face of a line. Okay, there it is there. I wonder if I'm going to be able to get it. If you turn the image upside down, people. If you turn the image upside down. Uh, where's those men at right there? And this is difficult for me to do while I'm upside down here because not only I think the lion's, this guy's mouth at the bottom, somewhere in here, it creates the diamond in the nose of the lion and it creates the lion's mouth in the shadows right there. Telling you that these two guys were genetically altered through the semen, through the body of the lion. Okay? Now, this should not be, this should not be as a surprise to you people. Where are we at here? Um, where can I find that lion's face? It's in here. It's right. I'm looking dead at it, people, but it's hard to show you. But I'm just going to tell you to flip your page around until you see it. And what you will see the telltale signs of that diamond nose of the lion, that separating line in between, and then the how it goes into the lion's mouth. You know what I mean? So that's, that's a signature. Do I see anything here? I'm even seeing something there. But anyway, that's a telltale sign of the of the face of the lion. And people, look look even after you turn this upside down. Look how this look how this right here becomes. Look at that. Chin, mouth, this demonic figure with a horn on it. Eye. Look at this. What in the hell is all of this doing here? 15th century, people. 15th century. And in an era where this artwork was scrutinized by two groups and two entities, ancient rooted religion and ancient rooted royalty. There's no way that these people would be drawing these. Well, we already know that it was regulated. Artwork was regulated by them. But there's no way that. And then these are they're the people that collected this. They're the ones that put in the, the most orders for this. They commissioned this type of stuff. These people knew what was going on genetically with us, and these references and these records were created specifically for that purpose. Look at this. And this is what everything was about. Ancient, ancient, ancient Egypt, ancient Africa, ancient Maya, ancient Anaki, ancient China, all of these ancient Asia. Asia ancient everything were about these images. So when it came to our Renaissance era and before, they took all of the stolen knowledge and all of the stolen ideas and they incorporated the same messages that came from petroglyphs, petroglyphs um, rock art. They took all of that information and translated it into their own form of artwork and put their religious spin on it in, in doing so. And this is what is so fascinating about artwork. Now I'm gonna turn this back over because I wanna show you something about that ape that is there with Christ. Uh, right here, let me see if I can turn it in a way that you could, there it is there. I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna shift that ape's head to where it's right there. So I'm gonna have to hold it there for a minute. I'm gonna end this video. I just wanted to show you this. This is I like doing showing you artwork, and then this is something that you can go and just go and look. Now that ape's head is turned sideways, but you see the knots on his head, you see where the eyes is, you see where the nose is, and then the mouth, and I mean the way the teeth is. Let me bring that in so you can see. That, oh, hold on, I went too far. I mean, it even shows teeth in the mouth all discombobulated right there. It just creates the open mouth. I mean, people, look at the nostrils here. Look at this made. Look at the eye. Look at this, people. I'm going to show you something. There's no, there's no coincidence here. 
Look at the way that ape's mouth is. And look at the way that ape's nose. Look at that beady eyes of that ape and that mouth. Look at that. The way the nostrils are close together with the eyes and then the mouth. Now look at this, people. How in the hell can that be identical? Even this line here, look, coming down to the nostril on that side. Look at this. You see that line? I mean, look at these. Coming down to the mouth, showing you those, those lines. Those same lines. Those defining lines of the eight in here. Look at this. How do the artists know except to, to create this H face? I mean, there's no coincidence with, and then create a mouth open and then put teeth in it? These teeth along in here? Representing the semen of this of the ancestry of this creature? This is no coincidence. And then the fact of the matter is that I'm describing these encryptions in these artworks. And telling you that it's all about the ancient dinosaur and how we evolved through the genetics of these creatures in a process that feathers later our later Caucasian counterparts away from that of our ape and African ancestor. And the stories contained there in the Bible are describing monumentous times where there was a significant change in mankind's genes and then these images are captured and describe how it was done. My name is Jerome Wright. You're watching my Jerome Wright YouTube channel. You like my video? Just push like. Thank you. 14 other genes were created through a recyclination of the initiating process which mankind evolved from his ape and African origins and there are other creatures before that which I'm not going to go into detail now but it's showing how through the story of Christianity that these um that these um um, um, um records are being kept um, being kept and being described to those who know how to read into what's going on with these messages um, and this image, this, this image is done by, this painting is done by in 1533 to 34. 1533 to 1534. They're describing a genetic sequence of contamination and genetic bridging that mankind does not even know today. Scientists and in the medicine field and the scientific field, the mainstream do not know. But you have those in ancient rooted religion and ancient rooted royalty that know it and can acknowledge through artwork exactly what has had to happen to us and what is going on today. Um, this painting is by Romanio, Romanio, that's R-O-M-A-N-I-O, um, Dicesia, D -I -S -E -A -S -A, Pismo, um, D-I-S-E-A-S-A, Pisnog, I guess a Pisong, and these names people are, these names are screwing me over here, trust me, but I'll spell them out to you, P-I-S-O-G-N-E. And the name of this painting, The Descent of Christ to Limbo, of Christ Helping Adam to Rise. Um, I'm highlighted here for you. All right, let's go with Christ first, okay? First of all, up over the top of his head, if you notice with these artists, a lot of these Renaissance artworks, first of all, you see a lot of blotches, blotch areas where somebody looked like they went back and erased something off the art or you know what I mean? They, it, it was too obvious, and they, they love the artwork, but what they do is they blotch it out. But what I see laying over across Christ's head here is I see a dick right here, laid across his head, and this, and this is exactly what I drew out there. You know what I mean? Laid across it. Whose dick? I mean, it's showing you in Christ's face. If you notice that this, that this is where, this is a telltale sign. Go here at Christ's arm. This man has a caveman, a Neanderthal arm here. And then the way the artist is Jerome right here again. <clears throat> and once again, you're joining me on my Jerome Wright YouTube channel here on YouTube. Okay. Um, as we all are aware now by my 200 plus videos here, I think it's nearing 227, 228 some odd videos here on um, YouTube, that um, I am able to decode Renaissance artwork. And in doing so, what I'm actually um, showing us here is how these artists take 
and encrypt their artwork with underlying messages which referencing how mankind genetically became um, a holy grail if you will of, um, of genetics and it's like a blueprint describing exactly how mankind was created and, and in a cauldron like way um, result I mean what in the world is going on I mean the first thing I say when I read the titles is Christ helping Adam to rise I mean I see Adam with his leg up in the air with his with his with his with his um, um, crotch all out in the open there first thing that comes to mind to me is penis you know what I mean? What is he helping Adam to rise with? You know what I mean? And then the way he's gripping Adam's arm up, I mean, if I'm helping a man, helping it, helping him from somewhere, I mean, first thing I do is is grab his hand in a hand in hand, and this is we we clutch each other and we lock in. It's not one man grabbing another's hand like he's grabbing a dick or something. I mean, I, I mean that's just keeping it 100 people. I mean this is crazy. But anyway, um, I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna show you something here with this. First of all, where do we start at? I have a bunch of encryptions drawn, 